But the, the, fascinating, you said before we came on the air, never have the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal uh, written two diametrically opposed uh, op-eds the way they did this morning. You would be hard-pressed to find two editorial products that are more in, in, in opposition to one another than today's New York Times lead editorial, Wall Street Journal's editorial. Uh, on a, on a situation in health care that is becoming increasingly confusing to people like me. I can't, I can't figure out what's going on with the bill. New York Times, the gist of their editorial is the budget office projects a sharp increase in enrollment in 2015 and 16 and a bigger net reduction in the number of uninsured. Its projections for subsequent years remain essentially unchanged. Uh, the new law will free people, young and old, to pursue careers or retirement without having to worry about health coverage. Workers can seek positions they are most qualified for and will no longer need to feel locked into a job they don't like right. because they need insurance for themselves or their families. All it's right. hard to view this as any kind of disaster. Now the Wall Street Journal, what's it say? Wall Street Journal. For low-wage, lower-skilled, or discouraged workers in particular, Obamacare offers incentives that can force them to trade jobs for entitlement benefits. By facts, the White House seems to mean that the report is positive because individuals will be empowered to make choices about their own lives and livelihoods and, quote, have the opportunity to pursue their dreams, unquote. There you have it, the Wall Street Journal says, the new American dream of not working. And, 